The San Juan Police Department has received many cases regarding runaway teens, most of which were successfully returned to their families. But now, CBS 4's Joel Flotis explains what the department is doing after the body of a 15-year-old runaway was found dumped on the side of the road. So, no one wants your emergency? Yes, sir. Um, my sister just left in a truck running up at the house. <laughs> I don't know where she went. Before the body of 15 year old Cassandra Ramirez was found dumped in rural Edinburgh two weeks ago, the San Juan Police Department had her listed as a runaway. Standard protocol is that we go out there, we get the call, 911 or a regular call. Um, parents state or the guardian at that time states, you know, uh, uh, juvenile under 17 years old left with consent or without consent, meaning that, you know, they left without us knowing. Uh, the officers get there, they determine if the, it was a voluntary runaway. Runaway cases are a big problem in the area. Last year, the police department worked 108 cases, all of which the teens were found and returned to their families. This year, Chief Gonzalez says they have had 10 successful cases. One contributing problem, access to social media. Unfortunately, for children nowadays, there's about 16 different apps that kids can use and access and communicate with individuals. Chief Gonzalez says parents need to be vigilant to help with the issue in their city. Next month, the police department plans on offering parents of previous or repeated runaways training on social media and risk factors to help minimize the amount of cases, something parents we talk to say they welcome. I think that they're doing a great job. It's just uh, something that we can begin at the house and take precautions as parents. In San Juan, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And Chief Gonzalez also told us the death of Cassandra Ramirez is still under investigation at this time.